A man took to social media, complaining anonymously about his national service experience. In a post to Popular Confessions page NUS Whispers, the man wrote, When the average Singaporean son sacrifices two years of his life for the country, he firstly and foremost protects the interests of people in positions of power and wealthy elites, as a matter of fact. And he gets little in return. He opined that he could not apply what he learned during his national service to a corporate job. He also felt that it delays two years of your career progression while others have already graduated when you begin your university. The man wrote, Don't you love it whenever the topic of NS is brought up? There are many people who say, Yeah, it's the duty of a Singaporean son, you gotta give back two years for the prosperity of your country, etc. Prosperity is not just defined by the GDP or GDP per capita of a country. It's how happy the average citizens are, not just the wealthiest or the most well-connected citizens. When we talk about Singapore getting more prosperous, are we talking about our average salaries going up? Our standards of living improving? Our society getting more harmonious and trusting? Our healthcare services and education quality improving? Netizens who commented on the man's post said that a number of his views only applied to him. One wrote, Oh well look at the bright side. It toughened you up for a few years. You have access and able to handle some military hardware that is off limits to others. Free food, medical care exercises. You get to travel to other countries for training. And you have very close buddies. If we don't have a fighting force to safeguard the country, very soon you wouldn't have a nickel for your grandma to buy herself on Gukia. At the opening of the Safra Clubhouse in Choa Chu Kong on Thursday, November 23rd, Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong underlined how important it is for Singapore to maintain the strength of its armed forces. Given how turbulent and divided the world is today, he noted that while conflicts exist in other parts of the world, Asia has been relatively peaceful. However, this situation can change very quickly. DPM Wong added that in Singapore, because of generations of individuals who have taken their responsibilities seriously, the armed forces are a credible deterrent force with operationally ready national servicemen and men playing an important role. Even during the COVID-19 pandemic, they assisted by operating checkpoints and supporting the healthcare system. Mr. Wong underlined this further in a Facebook post from Thursday afternoon. He noted that what sets Safra clubhouses apart is that Singapore's ensmen built them for the ensmen themselves.